So, I wanted to show you guys just a little walk. Um, I've wanted to come here for a while and I've not, not got down to here yet. I am trying out a new foam thing around the GoPro, so the sound might be a bit muffled, but this is Ebchester. Uh, there's a little weir, a bridge. It's actually a fly fishing club, so I'm told. Um, and I think it's about £50 for the year, which is pretty good, so I'm going to come and try it. I need, just need to buy some fly fishing gear because I don't have any of that. I have course fishing, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know what we're expecting to see here. <laughs> Never been here. But just wanted to come and have a little look. There's a stretch of river that you can uh, fishery access, effective overhead power lines, always carry rods. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd just come and have a look. Come and have a little walk down the down the river. I keep I drive over that bridge all the time, um, and I've never never actually come down here, and I wanted to. Just wanted to see what it's all about and see whether it's somewhere I want to fish, and I think it is. <laughs> It's not as big as I thought it would be, but there is, there is a good flow and the other side looks quite deep. It sort of splits there. There's, oh, that's the bridge I normally go over, over there. And, um, yeah, it's like peat water. It does look nice, actually. It looks really nice. Yeah, I'll definitely come and join this club. I just have to find out. There was a, I saw it online. Somebody recommended it to me in one of the local groups. There's somewhere that you can, you know, join up and go, yeah, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> join up and go fishing. <coughs> just following a faint path. There's a car all the way over there, look. Yeah, and there's a weir up there and a boathouse. The fishing looks to be behind me slightly. We may possibly fish all of this, I'm not sure. I think it was um, certain times of the year, it's like, is it trout and things? And then the rest of the year you can fish here for grayling. But to be honest, I wouldn't be keeping anything anyway. It would just be for the fishing. <laughs> Little birdie. There's a lot of wildlife along here actually. I've seen quite a few birds. Yeah, it splits into two over there. I don't know. Well, I've never done well, I've done fly fishing, but I was a kid in Scotland. And my parents. My dad took me and some family friends. Small little channel there. But the other side is uh, a lot, a lot bigger. Never walk along that path. I'm just making sure I stick to the paths instead of trampling stuff down. There is a little you can see here. Someone's been through, so we'll go through that. And cut back to this actual path. I haven't really done many videos recently, so I thought let's have a little stroll along and I'm not expecting to see any fish. <laughs> but still, it's a nice little walk. I, w I came out with the intention of sending the drone up, but I'm really I'm just not feeling that today. I'm not feeling the drone. So I thought I'd stick to just a little, little walk along the bank. go from there. I, I might put the drone up somewhere. Probably not. Yeah, it's a bit deeper there. <laughs> and you can see the someone's got a little rope swinging as well. Oh, 
got a, so it might be a nice little walk for you. Yeah, there's a, no, there's a main bit the other side there that runs all the way down and you've got this sort of runoff part here. Private fishing BAA. So this is where I want to be. Would I fish this part? Maybe. Maybe. It's kind of like a resting pool there created by that tree. I was hoping there'd be someone down here fishing. You can, the best people to ask are the people that fish here. Definitely. That's not a tree, it's a pipe. It's <laughs> a little bit buggy. Just step across that. There's slightly deeper out there, not very though. So I was here, I'd be trying to fish the other side. Although I don't know. Yeah, it looks knee deep in places. I don't know how deep the water needs to be for this sort of fish. That's how I've always done course fishing. A um, little bit of sea fishing off the piers. That's about it, really. It is nice, though. Should have brought my big camera, could have got a nice picture of that. I literally just come out with the drone and the GoPro for today. I can actually take pictures on the GoPro, so I might do that. I've never done that, I just stop and stop the video, take some little pictures. And then do some more video, we'll go up the other side in a minute, have a look at the boathouse. So I'm just up the, the top part now. I was just down there a minute ago. Um, I found this, this where the drop off is here is like a little resting pool. It's a dead calm, very, very brown, but dead calm there. It's quite deep as well compared to the rest. It's beautiful, eh? Lovely little spot. Epichester Boathouse, that is. Private fishing. Looks like it's a that's a Sea Scouts place as well. Yeah, I want to join this. Definitely want to join this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, could, could, so I wanted to get out today, do some sort of a video, just to get out of the house for a bit. And, um, yeah, I thought I'd come here. I've been here before, I walked to here from around that corner, so I've never done the, the walk along the path that I just did or anything. But I have done, I've been to sort of here and then turned around and went back, just had a little nosy. You can imagine this is where they launch dinghies and canoes from. Looks like you can walk right along. Yeah, I'm not sure. It is nice weather for the drone. It's a bit overcast for the for the video, but the actual wind conditions. There's barely any wind at all today. There's a slight little breeze. If I had the, the confidence, I'd probably send it up from here and get some, some, uh, you know, shots of over the water and fly around a bit. But the, the problem with that is the water tends to give it a really weird reaction, I've noticed on mine. It's either absolutely fine, no problems at all, or when the water's calm like this, it struggles to pick up the surface. So it, it would sort of dip and, and rise a bit and try and sort of, I guess, calibrate itself or whatever. But it's never hit the water, but I don't like flying it over water. Um, I'm guessing you probably shouldn't anyway, because, you know, it's not a good idea. It's not waterproof. It's a drone. <laughs> yeah, this is lovely, actually. Nice little walk. And like I say, I just wanted to share this, because I've been here a few times. I'll drive past here quite a lot, actually, to get to my mum's house to go down the back country lanes. There's an old abandoned factory warehouse thing in the middle of nowhere up the road a bit. I was tempted to go and send the drone up around that area. We'll see. 
this is still nice to see. Who knows, I could have some videos doing a bit of fly fishing. I've just got to get the gear and then figure out what the hell you do. Because <laughs> I've, I've never done it, well, like I say, as, a, as an adult, I've never done it. Done it as a child. And that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me, a dry cough today. Golf ball there. Just random place for a golf ball. We saw them playing with it with their dogs or something. Yeah, from here there's like a really steep bank over there. Really steep, like 20% or something. I might go check out that, that warehouse, have a walk around it. But let's go head back to the car over there. And then who knows, maybe there'll be another half of this video. Maybe that'll be it. <laughs> I guess you'll only see when you're watching it to this point. Right, see you soon. So I thought I'd have a little drive along. Um, I don't know what this used to be. There must be a sign somewhere around the edge, other than keep out, which you can see the kids have not been. <laughs> old industrial area of some kind. I don't, I guess I don't even know what it is, what it used to be, not yet. I know there's a, a quarry just down the road. It may have been linked to that, I don't know. But it's, um, yeah, it's just a shame to see it go like this, but it is cool when you see the derelict buildings. There's plenty of signs on it. <laughs> There's loads here. Oh, it must have been busy at some point, you imagine all the trucks in and out and workers and that sort of thing. But now, yeah, it's just so derelict. I was going to send the drone up over it, but I don't know. Well, for those that haven't seen the drone, here's a very neat, neat little thing that all folds out. There's also a, a road sweeper coming along, so that's handy. Here you fold them out, those legs fold under, and then the drone ready to go excuse the dust you just hook it up to the controller the controller then holds the controller holds your phone in the bottom there and then you just put your phone the phone sits in here and I'll be back in a second <laughs> the road sweeper was waving but yeah I forgot to mention the sticks quite neatly I don't think you're gonna see that but the sticks store under here you just pull them out and screw them in the top I mentioned forgot to mention that's the battery bank I've got the the extra pack it's got three batteries in it um, this can also be used as a power bank because it's got a USB output there you just tap that and it tells you the, the battery power um, but yeah I can I use this sometimes as a battery bank to recharge the GoPro just pull the battery out And then just drops in the back of the drone. That snaps down. Check you get your memory card in. And then it's one press, long press, power it up. That's powered up. It'll sort its little gimbal out. Same for the controller. One press, long press. And then I need to hook up the app to it and then we'll be ready to go.
I'm now at a little place called Shotley Bridge. Now, I love this place. Um, the river's down the bottom of there. I don't know if you can make that out. Right down the bottom. We're going to go down there in a minute. There's a little Italian restaurant there. Now, it's just one of them places that I, I love to come. I do pass through here now and again if I'm on the right way to the reservoir or whatever. Actually, I actually haven't checked the park and I think it's two hours. Monday to Saturday, yeah, two hours. That's fine. Um, there's a really sharp turn here to go around the corner and down to a little bridge. Um, I've just discovered some really nice houses as well down the bottom. The in service postponed, COVID, it's affecting everything and everyone. Yeah, there's some houses down there that are built right on the edge of the edge of the bridge which is really nice I'm gonna to to try and see if there's a little shop or something I'm, I've never driven through here I've never really sort of stopped here if you like um, but it's a lovely little place it's really nice and there's the bridge down there which we'll walk down to in a minute um, right so I can find a little shop I think there's one just around that corner actually but in the summer it's nice and then the pubs and that are open or corner shop or an off license or something it appears there's nothing here <laughs> beauty studio post box look all looks nice yeah no there's no shop photography that's not nice um david williams photography yeah it's all little cobbled streets and things like that we'll, we'll have a little walk down there well, you'll be not sure if you'll pick this up or not but this is pretty steep but yeah some really nice houses down here i came down a minute ago in the car and um, i mean that's straight looking out that way it is pretty steep let's go down here there's lovely apartments and there's a waterfront part as well which was nice the houses are built overlooking the water yeah i know where i am now i came down here a minute ago all nice houses down that way and the water's on the left there is a little bit of water on the right as well but nothing worth going out the way for we'll come down here but it's just no lovely little houses really nice place if you're in the area it's worth popping into Shotley Bridge in my opinion because it's I don't know it's just just a lovely little place and then there's not you know a great deal here you do it on the way passing through sort of thing but it's clean and the architecture and the houses and things are actually quite interesting but it looks really nice there's the old flour mill Derwent flour mill originally the site of a corn mill then soil sword grinding mill nice only the former office remains <laughs> it's cool and there's Shotley Bridge Oh, there's the water down there. Which we'll go and have a look at. And then the car's parked at the back of that little pub there, which is tucked away. Which is where I was when I just looked at the view of the bridge. I was by that bus stop up there. But I don't know, it's just a lovely little place. I really do like Shotley Bridge. But um, yeah, these houses down here, there's an estate down there that's alongside it. But, I mean, look at that. The ones down the end there, they've got little walkways down to the water. Imagine that being your house each day. You wake up looking at that. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It's got an old castle vibe to it, this place. God, I can't look off that bridge. Jesus. I just looked over and it instantly felt sick as a chip. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. I've driven over this bridge many times. I could put the camera over, but I can't get any closer than this. Which is about this distance. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, that. It's nice. And that goes off to Durham Reservoir. We'll have a little walk back up. I do like that. But yeah, I think that's about it for today. Just a little little walk around. 
10 minute video or whatever. Got egg chest, so a little bit of drone footage because I did put the drone up in that industrial area. Flew around there for a little bit. So it's nothing exciting today, it's just a what am I doing kind of thing. But um, yeah, I'll end it there and I'll catch you guys in a bit.